Hello everyone and welcome to the Fallout Creature Feature where we take a look at some of the most notable animals, monsters, and strange beings that inhabit the wasteland. I'm LS, and today we're going to focus on the mysterious shimmer that player characters encounter throughout the wastes. The terrifying, perfected breed of super mutants whose signature equipment includes the Stealth Boy. Our focus today is the Nightkin. The Nightkin are the elite warrior class of super mutant, the most powerful creations of the Master's Unity. They're superior to standard super mutants in fighting ability, equipment, and weaponry. After the defeat of the Master, the Nightkin, like most other super mutants, began to roam the various wastes, often destroying anything that crosses their path. Nightkin tend to be arrogant, being the perfected genetic creations of the Master. Nightkin also tend to be more talkative and articulate than regular super mutants. One example of this is when Jason Bright tells the Courier of how one of the Nightkin raved at the Bright Brotherhood after their first battle. The defining element of the Nightkin is that their prolonged exposure to stealth boys led to significant mental health issues for them later in their lives. When the Courier encounters the Nightkin in New Vegas, there are several different bands who roam the Mojave in search of stealth boys with which to state the oncoming mental illnesses. The mental effects of the stealth boys can be seen in numerous Nightkin throughout the Mojave. These include a lone Nightkin believing that Dusty McBride's Brahmin are the source of the voices inside his head. You also have the Antlerists, Nightkin who've started worshipping the Brahmin Skull Antler as their god. Then there's the Nightkin at Brook's Tumbleweed Ranch, who offers to sell the courier tumbleweeds as livestock, referring to them as Wind Brahmin. Obviously. And of course, there's potential companion Lily Bowen, who develops schizophrenia and starts hearing the voice she calls Leo in her mind. A tragic consequence of this being that the antipsychotic medications that Lily uses to suppress Leo could lead to her completely losing her memories of her grandchildren. Then we have Tabitha, who could honestly be a feature in her own right. Because of their illnesses, numerous Nightkin also develop an aversion to being seen in general, continually using their stealth boys and thus prolonging their mental health issues. Their cycle of dependency and subsequent descent into madness make the Nightkin one of the most complex and fascinating species of monsters in the entire Fallout canon. So next time you get ready to fight a group of them, raise a bottle of Nuka-Cola for everything the Nightkin have been through. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Fallout Creature Feature for the Nukapedia Pipcast. I'm L.S.